is your hope. Because if your hope is not in God, you are lost. When you want this hope from God, acknowledge your wickedness. Seek forgiveness of your sins before Jesus. For the sake of his name, God is able to deliver you from sin. Your hope must be in Jesus Christ. This time I'm asking all the people who want to receive Jesus with their hearts. All the people who want to accept Jesus. You know yourself that you are not yet born again. You stand up on your feet, you open your eyes, you walk, come and stand here. So I want to lead you who are here by this prayer is a short prayer. Follow me in this prayer together with those who are watching. Say Lord Jesus Christ after I have heard your word I have decided in my heart to accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart and change my life. I believe Jesus with my heart that you are the Savior. You are the Lord and you have died for my sins. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to give you a short counseling. This is what happened now. Your life is totally changed. Why? Jesus Christ now is living in you. Can you brush your chest and say, I'm born again. I'm washed by the blood of Jesus. My sins are forgiven. Now I'm a child of God. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is holy. The Lord Jesus wants to see his word and the word of his father in you. Which means as from today you must read the word of God. The Bible is the word. So listen. When you are born again. You pray in the name of Jesus. Giving thanks. Praying for yourself. Praying for others. Worshipping. But don't go back to your old sin and find yourself a true church which preaches about the true Jesus. Praise the Lord. Your life is totally changed. Hallelujah. Now is your time to start praying. Seated as you are, believe in your heart. Trust Jesus.
Whatever you are saying, no demon can block you when you are in the presence of Jesus. No spirit can block you when you are in the presence of Jesus. Pray with all your heart and see the power of our Lord Jesus working in you. I say in the mighty name of Jesus where there are sicknesses Jesus. I say right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command all the sicknesses to live now I command all the pains to live I command all the diseases to live yo Bend those spirits by the fire. Fire. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Evil spirits in the form of snakes. Ah. You evil snakes, you are under arrest. Hey. Jesus. And Bazalona Ben King enter a hand by his full Ben Bazalon, and Ben is a scumber and Bazalon. I had the son of Squalumoya cool, Bazalon, Amen Bazalon. I had something uh, that was like it was moving within me uh, up to, to, to my chest. Nessun Sam, then you saw Squalumoya Omni Omni. In my stomach, it was like a, uh, it was full of air. What was happening because we saw you vomiting many things. You started by vomiting the foam. After that, you vomited some red things. After that, you vomited a heap of things. You know what? This is what we call restoration by Jesus. Thank you in Jesus' name. I just want to thank God for what he has done. I just want to thank God for what the, the, the mistake that I did is that uh, I didn't see it when I was coming out. I only saw it when I was coming in. Then, masing bu ya besing ya pendu angeli pege, but ingi ben dente si mi nangi kutun tana kang kulun kululeli kazi ngeli ngenze lut. Gusugelenge from there, ama enkles ama ya vuvugala. Sometimes mango gis tatulo gubengati i enkli ya move. Since then, it's like the ankles are, they are not stable. It's like she needs something to support them. It was like when uh, we were praying, there was something that was um, uh, holding my ankles and something coming out of them. And I just want to thank God for that. Know that that blood was brought by the darkness kingdom. Yeah. So Jesus Christ has delivered you. Continue to love him. 